Okay, so I've been asked a couple times about Alembic files and fluid simulations with Blender and Unreal, so I'm just going to show that here real quick. So for making a fluid simulation in Unreal, what I'd do to get maybe like a little fountain spraying up is I'd start with a cylinder, and this will be a fluid item. Uh, it's just in the physics tab here of the object then I would set this one to inflow, which means that it will be putting water into the domain. I'll do a Z of 2, that just means the direction that the water will be spraying out when it appears. And you can adjust any of these values to whatever looks good to you. Now I'm going to make this little cube here. And this one, let me make sure it's at a good level. So that it's just covering up the bottom part of this because this is what I'm going to use as an outflow. So this will just make it so the water doesn't build up and start, you know, filling up and just make this weird cube shape of water. And then this will be the domain. So it's essentially the area that actually sort of turns into the fluid simulation, but it's also the area that it takes place in. So, I want to make sure this doesn't go beneath that outflow that we made. So this one will be a domain. This is where we really control the simulation from. See it turned, turned into sort of the start there going to make it short so it renders faster, just preview, but any of these settings you can change, so resolution will just make it look nicer, but the higher resolution, the bigger file you'll end up with at the end. So that's up to you where you want to compromise. There are also fluid particles, which just adds further detail and stuff. I haven't actually messed with that too much, so I'm not sure how it looks, how it affects everything. Okay, so the other thing that I would do before I start simulating this I would take this inflow here and keyframe it. So for this enable, I would insert keyframe somewhere with it enabled and then right after insert a keyframe with it disabled. So I'm just right clicking here but you can also press I if you're hovering over it. That way It'll turn off partway through and then you can get the water stop flowing out and just splash and so you get a nice finish instead of just having to delete your object at the end all of a sudden. So we've got our domain here. And then usually, I it might have been because I was testing with this earlier that it's already running something, but you would have to tell it to bake this animation. So it'll run the simulation and then you can see what it looks like. Okay, so now it's done. Oh, and my outflow is not where I want it to be. But it did cut off at the end. Where I put those keyframes. So the flow stops nice and smooth like that. So let's oh, let's adjust this real quick. Pull up this a little bit just to make sure it's gonna cut off. Get rid of that water that's building up down there. And then we'll run this again. Okay. So let's see how it looks. Oh, there we go. Now the water is disappearing when it hits that outflow. And there you go. So we've got a little Fountain that comes up and disappears. It doesn't look super great, but again, any of these can be adjusted however you want it to look. But for now, I'll just leave it. You can also use the smooth shading, try to smooth it out a bit. Okay, so now I'm actually going to, at least I think, unlike with exporting with FBX, you can't 
to wonder to just export the selected, so I'm actually going to delete the other two pieces. So I just have this piece when I export, just to make it a little bit easier when I put it into Unreal. Okay, so now I want to say export Alembic, this ABC file. Uh, you can pick where you want the beginning and end of your animation to be. Some other settings here I haven't messed with a lot. I'm just going to leave it where it is right now. Uh, yeah, just untitled.abc is fine in my documents. So there we go. Then you can come into Unreal. Find your file. Okay, so this one it's got some different options for how you make your Alembics for it, but for something like this, you want to do a geometry cache. Uh, yeah, we've just got this one shape here. If you did leave the other two in there, you'll have to figure out which one it is, what it was called in Blender, the one that was actually doing the simulation, so in this case, cube 001. Once again, you can pick where it starts and ends. Okay, so now, oh yeah, I forgot that these tend to end up super small, so, um, I don't remember, let's see if Blender has an option to export it larger than that. Oh yeah, right there, scale. So you'll probably want to scale it up, I believe, to about 50 or so, to get something that's a little more reasonable in size. Ends up sideways too, so you might want to change the way you export or import it into Unreal. Okay, uh, you can set it to loop if you want, you can set it to automatically run, or you can run it from blueprints that simulate, and there we go. So now we've got a little fountain animation going. You can also make it run backwards if you want. If you were doing something you had to simulate the other way, but you wanted it to run the other way once you were looking at it. Like that. For the material for this, um, you can experiment, see what you can get working. I haven't had a lot of luck with anything really fancy. It, um, if you do it wrong, you tend to end up with these weird, just like a bunch of little triangles that show, and that's the only part of the animation that will show. But if you want to keep it simple, just do, you know, standard surface material, make it translucent, and then you can give it some color, opacity, refraction, make it look at least semi-watery. Alright, so that's um that's how you get Alembic files running in Unreal. Uh, you can experiment in Blender, see what kind of stuff you can make, like um messing around with these things, like the obstacles, that'll just block water that's flown around. Control has sort of uh almost like a gravitational effect on water, it can pull it towards it or push it away. So you can use things like that to make more complicated simulations. I believe I also mentioned having like a hollow cylinder making a little like ring splash. So you can just, you know, you can use different shapes to generate water from depending on what you want it to look like. So you could have like a, you know, a square fountain <laughs> for whatever reason. But yeah, you can use whatever shape you want for these inflows and outflows and uh, the domain though always needs to be a rectangle or a cube I guess is so the area that it's simulating in always has to be 
some sort of cube shape. So you might have to make it larger to keep it from splashing against the walls or things like that. And yeah, I think that's it.